Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. In association with... ActionFigureJunkies.com Check them out on Facebook. In association with NerdAddiction.com Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review and today we're going to take a look at another Star Wars figure. It's from the three and three quarter inch Black Series line from The Force Awakens. It's Han Solo. So I found this figure at my local flea market, the Emporium 31 down in Greenwood, Indiana, and uh, I really got it because one, it was two bucks, and uh, I figured I'd go ahead and uh, put him with my three and three quarter inch Chewbacca from The Force Awakens, and uh, yeah, it looks really, really goofy to be honest. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Han Solo in the packaging, and it looks very simplistic. This almost looks like a Christmas ornament more than it does an action figure, really. It's basically got the same type of uh, artwork that we see on the Black Series figures. It's got uh, Star Wars, the Black Series, up at the top. A really bad rendition of Han Solo right there. We get Han Solo in the packaging. It doesn't have any numbering on the side here. Uh, it says Han Solo right there on the side, uh, so just kind of a close-up. It's the Black Series. There's Han Solo looking more like Mike Myers from Saturday Night Live uh, than Harrison Ford, and yeah, that is a really bad drawing. I just, it's just bad. And then it says uh, Han Solo uh, on the side there looking pretty cool. Back of the package here. Uh, it's, it's got that uh, artwork for Solo in the background, and there's a little itty bitty write up. So let's just kind of get this good and close. If you want to pause and read that, you are more than welcome to. And well, that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get Solo out of box and see what we think. So here we have Han Solo out of the packaging, and uh, this is a very odd little figure. I will say that the detail on this figure is very well sculpted, however it's missing some things. I think a little bit of paint app could have helped and the head sculpt unfortunately is atrocious. Instead of looking like Han Solo, this really looks more like Mike Myers from Saturday Night Live or the Austin Powers movies, which is kind of comical but not what you want in a Harrison Ford figure. But since I only paid $2 for it, I don't feel too terribly gypped. Um, it's actually really well articulated for a three and three quarter inch figure. He does come with a little blaster uh, that sits in the holster, which is a very, very cool. So you can pull that out and uh, put it into his hand. And uh, it's actually painted pretty well. It's got some nice silver paint apps and stuff. Uh, so I like that. I was very happy about that. Um, articulation on the figure. This is going to be hard to keep into focus here, so hang on a second. There we go. Um, the head does not hardly look down at all. doesn't look it up at all. It moves uh, back and forth. It is not hampered by the jacket, which is nice. There is no articulation in the waist. The arms do come up pretty far. They go all the way around. There is a single jointed elbow uh, that has a twist on it. Uh, which is very cool, so that's nice. The hands also have kind of a uh, dice rocking motion, um, and they also spin, so that's cool. Uh, there is a twist at the waist. Um, it is not hampered by the jacket, which is very cool. Uh, the legs don't kick up very far. They're on a really weird ball socket set that kind of kicks out and twists around. Um, he's got a single jointed knee, but that knee also has a twist, uh, which is very weird. And then he's got uh, a hinge on uh, the ankle that also twists. And that's pretty much it for the articulation on this guy. Um, it's actually pretty good for a three and three quarter inch figure, much better than the figures that we had in the 80s. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, the sculpt on the figure itself is actually pretty good, except for the head. Um, I don't like the head sculpt. It does not look like Harrison Ford to me. Like I said, it looks like Mike Myers from Saturday Night Live. 
I think another problem with the head is the lack of paint apps. In the hair, he just needs some gray highlights to make him look like old man hand. But the jacket is very well done. I love the detail on it. The paint apps look really, really good. Uh, for the most part, they did a great job with the sculpt and the articulation on a figure so small. Much more detailed than what we got in days past. Um, the buttons, the undershirt, even the paint um, on the gloves and on the gun look really, really good. It's just that head does not say hand Solo. And finally, looking at the lower half of the figure, again, great sculpt. I love the browns, the leathers. Those all look good. Uh, he's got the strap for his holster. Uh, the fact he's got a functional holster is a very, very cool, and it holds that little tiny thing very well. Uh, great sculpt, great detail. It's just, I mean, it's the head sculpt. It just doesn't say Han Solo. For comparison, here we have Han Solo with Captain Phasma, and the scale, I think, actually works pretty well. Uh, Phasma is a very, very tall lady, and she kind of towers over Mike Myers, I mean Han Solo here, uh, which works for me in the three and three quarter inch line. So is the three and three quarter inch Black Series Old Man Han from uh, The Force Awakens something that you want in your Star Wars collection? Probably not, unless you're a three and three quarter inch fan. Um, the only reason I got this, it was two bucks at the flea market and I had a three and three quarter inch Chewbacca from the same line and I figured I'd go ahead and put them together. I'm kind of glad I have it for that, but that's really about it. Um, the head sculpt does not say Han Solo to me. I think it looks like Michael Myers. Every time I look at it, it kind of cracks me up. Maybe doing some custom paint detail on it might help it out, giving it some gray in the hair. I will say it's very articulated for a three and three quarter inch figure, and the body itself is done well. But Han Solo, it is not. So there he is, Han Solo from the Force Awakens Black Series three and three quarter inch line. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.